Don't dress your age and do these five things instead. Have you ever asked yourself the question, am I too old to wear that? Maybe it was a mini skirt that you put on one day and you thought, oh my gosh, I'm 50 years old. Like me, am I too old to wear that? Or maybe you put on a pair of ripped denim and a crop top and a blazer and you thought, hmm, am I too old to wear this? Or maybe you see a woman from across the room and you think, oh my gosh, look at what she's wearing. She has on a plunging V neck line. She's way too old to wear that. Well, let me tell you something, ladies. Age is just a number. Age is not how old you are. Age is how old you think you are. So I just turned 50 two weeks ago, and I will tell you this. I do not feel 50, and I do not dress like I'm 50, and neither do you. You don't have to. If you want to, you certainly can. But again, age is just a number. So wear what makes you feel like the best version of yourself. Wear what makes you feel confident because the most confident woman in the room and the most beautiful woman in the room is the one who feels most comfortable in her skin and nothing will make you feel more comfortable and more confident than when you wear clothes that make you feel that way. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing five things that you should do instead of dressing your age because there are no style rules. And again, style knows no age. In this video, we'll prove exactly that. I will be sharing 10 looks in this amazing video and everything that I'm talking about will be linked down below in my description box. Now make sure you listen to the entire video because look number 10 is what I'm gonna be wearing on New Year's Eve and I can guarantee you there will be people that will look at me and say, oh my gosh, She's, you know, definitely not 30, and I think she probably shouldn't be wearing that dress because it's way too low cut. Like, I cannot believe she's wearing that. She's 50 years old. So I want to know what you think. I want to know if you think I'm too old to wear that. I would love to hear down below in the comments because like I always say, I always love hearing from you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your support. Okay, five things you should do instead of dressing your age. Number one, you should minimize your jewelry. So, I feel like older women tend to just pile on the costume jewelry. Not only does that look a bit cheap, but it will also make you look a bit older than you are. And again, age is just a number. It's all about dressing to make yourself feel more confident and like the best version of yourself. And I know that when I wear dainty layered jewelry, that's when I feel like the best version of myself. So if you were to look through my Instagram or, or my blog, you would notice that I always just have one or two dainty necklaces on and that is it. Sometimes I will wear my solid statement making necklace. It's by Saint Laurent. It's like a gold and silver chain necklace. I love that necklace too. I wear it a ton, but you won't see me wearing multiple statement necklaces together. I just think that definitely doesn't make me feel good and it, it, it kind of ages you. I feel like too, again, back to like a lot of that chunky costume jewelry going on isn't the best way to dress if you're wanting to look and feel more youthful. So because I had on this gold sequin jacket, I definitely kept my necklaces more minimized. As you'll see here, I just have on a simple pendant and a gold chain necklace. This is a fabulous gold sequin jacket, you guys. It's on sale right now on the Express website. It's like 50% off. Perfect for the holidays, but don't think you're too old to wear sequins. Don't think you can't wear sequins at all times during the year because you absolutely can. Sequins aren't just for the holidays or just for a fancy night out. You can wear sequins to Starbucks. You can wear sequins to the grocery store if you want. Because like I said, wearing what makes you feel good is key. For me, when I put on sequins, I feel happy. I feel joyful. So guess what? I'm gonna wear this sequin jacket a lot this season because it makes me feel good. I love it paired with the black coated jeans. These are also from Express, under $100. This is the Skyscraper Silhouette, my favorite denim silhouette that Express makes. It's a mid-rise floor skimming hemline. These are gonna make your legs look crazy long. But I also love the gold sequin jacket paired with a simple white tank in some blue denim jeans. These are also the skyscrapers. These are one of my favorite pairs of jeans, you guys, $50. What a steal, and when I tell you they look and feel like designer denim, like trust me, they do, it will be the best $50 you will ever spend. Okay, tip number two that you should do instead of dressing your age is always dress for your body type. So this goes into the ABC rule, accentuate, 
balance and camouflage. So you wanna accentuate your best assets of your body. You want to create balance in your looks, meaning if you show skin on the top, you wanna to cover up the bottom. If you show skin on the bottom, you wanna cover up the top. This will create balance in your look and it will also allow your looks to appear more age appropriate. And then finally, we have the C for camouflage, which is hiding the parts of your body that you don't love. So for me, I feel like my best asset is just my hourglass figure. I spend a lot of time working out. I also eat healthy and really take pride in the shape that my body is at age 50. I'm very, very proud of that. So I love wearing form-fitting dresses. This is a beautiful under $100 form-fitting black dress. It's made of ribbed, wrinkle-free material. It is long sleeved, so it's a really good one to have. During the fall and winter, I love the front slit up the front it's very tastefully sexy and yes I dress a little sexy and guess what I'm 50 years old and I still love dressing sexy I've loved dressing sexy since I was like 16 years old I always have I don't know why I just do it's me I feel like my authentic self so even as I age I'm going to continue to wear sexy clothes again because it makes me feel good and it makes me feel like the best version of myself I decided to top this dress off with this really cute blank NYC bomber jacket. It has a faux fur collar. It's a beautiful neutral gray shade. It's faux leather, so the price point is amazing. And then I paired it with these fabulous snake print booties. These are by Inez. You guys, these booties are amazing. I think the heel height is like three inches, so very wearable, very comfortable. Also, the pointy toe will make your legs look longer and you look slimmer. They also look really good with denim as well. Okay, this is a controversial look for sure. And I actually included this in a holiday video that I did a couple weeks ago where I shared 10 amazing holiday looks. So if you haven't checked out that video yet, I highly recommend it. This is a ultra sexy jumpsuit. It is a metallic jumpsuit with a deep plunging V neckline. And again, I don't think I'm too old to wear it. You might disagree and that's okay. If you do, hey, leave me a comment down below and tell me why. I love to hear your opinion. And like I say, these are all suggestions in this video. So take what you like and leave the rest. But for me, when I put this jumpsuit on, I just felt amazing. I felt sexy. I felt beautiful. I felt glamorous. So guess what? I'm gonna wear it. I don't care if I'm 50 years old. I don't care if somebody across the street looks at me and says, oh my gosh, who does she think she is? She's wearing this jumpsuit. She's way too old to wear that. You know what I have learned in like 20 years of therapy? I've been in therapy for about 20 years. Like I said, since I was 30 years old, I've been through two divorces. One of the biggest things I have learned is that it is none of my business what anyone else thinks of me. So that's what you guys should think as well when you get dressed. And this metallic jumpsuit absolutely made me feel awesome. I love it. It does have a plunging V neckline. If that's not for you, I get it. You could easily pair a black camisole underneath this jumpsuit. That way the plunging neckline wouldn't be so plunging after all. All right, the next tip is to find your personal style. So as we age, it is important that you know what your personal style is. If you don't know what your personal style is, then I will give you a couple tips on how to figure that out. Number one, pay attention to when you're wearing something and you get the most compliments. The reason you get more compliments when you wear a certain item of clothing, it's probably because of the way that item of clothing makes you feel. So if you feel really confident and really good when you wear this really great leather jacket and you get lots of compliments on that leather jacket, then maybe your personal style is probably jackets with maybe paired with denim if you had on jeans that day because again it all ties back to how these clothes make you feel another way to really define your personal style is what lights you up when you're looking through instagram and you're looking at some of your favorite influencers or some of your favorite celebrities like what outfit do you look at and think like oh my gosh i love that outfit like i want to be her i want to wear what she has on whatever really lights you up that's probably going to be an item that is part of your personal style. Also, you have to keep your lifestyle in mind, of course. Are you somebody that has a more casual lifestyle? Then you probably want to pick more casual clothes and have a personal style that is a bit more casual. If you are somebody that goes to a lot of events and you have more of a you know, dressy or fancy lifestyle, then you want to keep that in mind when picking your personal style. But it's all about just knowing yourself 
Um, you know, with age comes wisdom, with age comes really getting to know yourself. And when you get to know yourself, you will definitely know which clothes you love and which clothes you don't love, which clothes you hate to wear and which clothes just don't make you feel like the best version of yourself. Now that I'm 50 years old, I 100% know what I like to wear and I 1000% know what I don't like to wear. And that's because I have a personal style and that comes from knowing who I am and knowing what clothes make me feel good and make me feel confident when I put them on. So this is a great outfit that really emulates my personal style perfectly because it is a bit edgy. It's also very chic and sophisticated looking as well. This is a Chanel inspired jacket. You guys, this jacket is a quilted faux leather jacket with gorgeous gold luxe buttons. It is from Express. So although it looks like a Chanel jacket, it's not. So instead of being $2,000, this jacket is under $100. And trust me when I say, ladies, it is way less expensive than that in person. And it looks way more expensive than that in person. I paired it over a simple white tank. And then these are some amazing 90s jeans from Express. I love the front seam and the front ankle slit. Perfect for showing off your favorite pair of heels. So of course I have on jeans because I love wearing denim. You guys know that. If you've been watching my videos for a while, that is definitely part of my personal style is wearing jeans because I feel confident in them. I feel comfortable in them and they match my lifestyle. This is another outfit that really emulates my personal style as well. Again, it's a bit edgy. It does have a leather jacket because if I had to pick one thing that is my all time favorite thing to wear that makes me feel the most confident, it is a leather jacket. You guys, this leather jacket is so cool. It's belted. It is real leather. It has silver hardware, so it's very chic. It goes with so many different things. And the reason this leather jacket is so unique is because you can belt it. So it really does a great job of accentuating your waist. Now, if this one is out of your price point because it is real leather, luckily Express makes a really cool belted leather jacket with gold hardware. That one is like a hundred and some odd dollars, but right now I'm pretty sure it's 50% off. So it's a great time to grab that leather jacket because it's on crazy sale. I paired the first leather jacket with those same black denim jeans from Express. Again, with the front ankle slit, love these jeans. They're high waisted in the perfect length. And then I paired the other leather jacket with the gold hardware with this amazing strapless dress. It is a midi dress, so it comes below your knee. It's a great dress because you can easily dress it up like I have here with this amazing leather jacket, but you can also wear it with like an army jacket and sneakers if you wanted to dress it down. So this is literally like the perfect little black dress. All right, the next tip is to know your best asset. So I touched on this a little bit ago when I did the ABC rule. This one is just really focusing on what your best asset is. What is your favorite part of your body? So let me know down below in the comments. Do you love your waist? Do you love your broad shoulders? Do you love your long legs? Like whatever that is, you should wear more clothes that showcase your best feature because this is going to exude confidence for you. And like I said, the most confident woman in the room is the woman that walks in the room and she knows who she is and she's wearing clothes that make her feel like the best version of herself. So for me, I love wearing jeans like I talked about earlier. Even as a little girl, my mom said I preferred to wear jeans over dresses and I wanted to wear jeans all the time. So these are my favorite pairs of mother jeans. They're high-waisted, super slimming. I love the faded black wash. It's very edgy, it's very versatile. They go with everything. I just love, love, love mother denim. So if you've never tried a pair of denim by mother, I highly recommend it. I paired this with an easy casual cashmere camel sweater. That's a lot of C's. Try to say that quickly a couple of times. Um, this sweater is amazing. It's actually the same cashmere sweater that I have on right now, but in camel, the one that I'm wearing today is gray. These are real cashmere sweaters, you guys, and the price point is amazing. I did the front half tuck to accentuate my best asset, which is my waist. I added a belt, and then this is an amazing faux fur trimmed black vest. You guys, vests are having a huge moment right now this fall and winter, so if you haven't added a vest to your winter jacket collection, I highly recommend it. And this one, again, is by Blank NYC, so the price point is amazing. 
All right, this next tip is actually a really good tip. I love this tip and I actually do this four times a year, but that is cleaning out your closet and getting rid of anything that doesn't make you feel good when you put it on or doesn't light you up or doesn't make you feel like you really, really love this item. That's what you should get rid of when you're cleaning out your closet. So I recommend doing a closet clean out every single season. So spring, summer, fall, winter, and just get rid of the things that maybe you just don't like it. Maybe you were in a weird mood when you bought it. Maybe you just bought it because it was on sale. If it has had the tags on it and you haven't worn it in over a year, get rid of it. If it's stained, pilled, ripped, get rid of it. Again, if it just doesn't make you feel good, get rid of it. If it doesn't fit you the right way, whether it's too big or too small, get rid of it. You will feel so much better. You will feel lighter. You will feel more confident. So I highly recommend doing this four times a year. Okay, the next tip of what you should do instead of dressing your age is you should wear clothes that speak to who you want to be. So have you ever heard that saying, if you want a certain job, dress like you already have that certain job and you will manifest that job. If you want to be confident, then dress like you're confident. If you want to have more fun in life, then maybe you add a little bit more color into your wardrobe. If you want to feel a little bit more sexy, then dress in that way. Dress in the way that you want to be. Dress in the way that makes you feel like the best version of yourself. And if you don't feel like that version of yourself today, it's okay. You can dress like her in the future. Dress like you want to feel in the future and you will start feeling that way today. Our clothes are powerful. The clothes you put on your body are powerful. They affect your mood. They affect your dopamine levels in your brain. They affect how you feel. That that is why I am so passionate about what I do because I truly believe that the clothes we put on our body have such an impact on the way we see ourselves and the way other people see us. So for me, again, I love wearing denim. I love wearing leather jackets. I love wearing you know, fitted bodysuits and fitted sweaters. So that's what I wear because that makes me feel more confident and like the best version of myself. So this is a Lamarck black leather jacket. I've had this one for a long time. I love it. It has beautiful gold hardware. It has Dolmon sleeves, so it's, it's a bit oversized, but it's a little bit on the cropped side, so it doesn't overwhelm my silhouette. I paired it over this V-neck fitted sweater by ATM. This is a great versatile sweater. Um, I love this neutral color. It looks perfect paired with these high-waisted trouser jeans by Citizens of Humanity. You guys, wide leg jeans are a huge trend in the denim world, so these jeans are not only on trend, but they're also just a great basic because they have no rips in them. They're a perfect medium to dark wash, which I love wearing this wash of denim during the fall and winter. So this is a great look, perfect for a girl's night out or a date night. This is another outfit that I feel like the best version of myself in. These are the most flattering pants I own, hands down, no doubt about it. These are the Veronica Beard Beverly's in the faux leather. I love this black faux leather flare. You guys, this is the most universally flattering style of denim on the market, the high-waisted floor skimming hemline. You guys, these are amazing. Like I said, I wear them a ton during the holidays because they're perfect to wear to a holiday party if you don't feel like wearing a dress. I paired them with a simple black bodysuit. This one is by Good American, and I love this sexy slit in the center. And then I just topped it with this amazing faux fur jacket by Blink NYC. This is an amazing price point. I'm pretty sure it's under $100. I love wearing faux fur jackets because they're glamorous. Um, this one is a bit on the crop side, so it is perfect for my five foot four frame. It looks great with denim, but it also looks amazing with these faux leather pants. And you can't go wrong with an all black ensemble and a bold red lip. Okay, this is the last tip and I'm about to share the last outfit, which is probably gonna be really controversial and it's something I'm gonna be wearing on New Year's Eve. But this last tip is the most important tip I'm gonna share and I did touch on it throughout this entire video. And that is you should dress based on how these clothing items make you feel down on the inside. 
So you know when you put something on, you know if you put it on and you love it, you just get that feeling of like, yes, I feel awesome, I feel confident, I feel like the best version of myself. If an article of clothing gives you that feeling, then you should wear that, whatever it is. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're 70 years old, if you put on a mini skirt and you get that feeling of confidence and just good vibes, then you should wear it. Pay attention to how you feel. Pay attention to your confidence level when you put something on, because like I've said in this entire video, there's nothing more confident than a woman who walks in a room and she knows who she is and she isn't worried about how old she is. She's just comfortable in her skin. She's comfortable being herself and her clothes add to that. Her clothes help portray the image that she wants to portray to the world. So for me, I wanna show the world that I am happy and that I am confident and that I am strong and that I am courageous. And the clothes that I wear, because they make me feel good, definitely give out that signal and give out that vibe. So that is what I want for you. That is why I started my channel, is to help women just like you pick clothes that make you feel like the best version of yourself because at the end of the day our confidence is the best accessory that we can wear so here it is look number 10 this is a gorgeous strapless leather dress it looks like real leather but i'm pretty sure it's not real leather because the price point is pretty amazing so I, I know it's not real leather but it looks like real leather and i don't care that it's not real leather it is strapless it has this deep v-neck cut i love the deep plunging neckline however it does have this sheer material over it so it's not like it's your bare skin showing so it does give you a little bit more coverage even though it doesn't give the illusion that it's giving you more coverage i love this dress i don't think i'm too old to wear it why because i check in with myself i feel good i feel confident i feel glamorous when i wear it so i'm gonna wear it please let me know what your favorite tip was because i always love hearing from you guys for more style information you can head over to my blog soheather.com and on instagram i'm soheatherblog i hope you have a beautiful day because you deserve it and if no one has told you yet today i love you you're amazing you're beautiful and i hope that you can dress in a way that makes you feel confident and like the best version of yourself i will look forward to seeing you in my next video take care Bye-bye.